Uh, good morning, um, everyone. Thank you, Sabine, for uh, for inviting New Facebook and uh, for having us um, um, today. Um, okay, Arantxa Yanez, the founder of Felwood, has been a diver since she was little, and while practicing the, the sport um, she loved, she saw how over time there was more and more plastic in the water. Uh, the doubt she found this, uh, more plastic than fish actually, uh, Felwood was, was born. So she decided around eight years ago to start studying plastic substitutes from vegetal waste. Um, actually, she started in, in her kitchen. Okay, so after five years, she got she got it and found the uh, felwood. And today, there is not a real alternative to plastic. Bioplastic, uh, for example, is not uh, sustainable. As it requires huge amounts of water, resources, and, and their own crops to be produced. And uh, we needed um, a new approach here. This is a uh, Leros. And this is also Lerus. In Felwood, we, de uh, we developed technologies to transform vegetable waste into industrial materials that uh, may replace plastic on many applications without adding any adhesives or binders of any kind. Uh, the, the food tray you can see on, on the screen is 100% uh, vegetable uh, fibers. This is how we do it. Uh, our process consists in two phases that make up a circular economy. In the first one, the, the vegetal waste is transformed into a federal raw material um, through this uh, processing technology that is, is, is patented. And in the second one, this, uh, this federal raw material is molded uh, to make the final products. And these products are uh, biodegradable, recyclable, and compostable materials that uh, we believe that they will, uh, will have a really competitive uh, price. Um, moreover, we obtain a byproduct, which is a really good fertilizer. And we are also looking for ways to commercialize it, as, um, mainly because it increases the return of the investment of the, of the industrial, industrial plant, sorry, which is for us, of course, is really, really important. Uh, our processes can be set up to produce different types of materials. Uh, you will see some in the next, uh, in the next um, slide, but some of them are two times harder than Lego uh, bricks. Okay, so uh, AB is plastic, which uh, pla uh, Lego parts are made of. Uh, it's already really, really hard, so you can see how hard our, our products can be. You have here some some examples of our, uh, of materials. Ferrohard, which is I said two times harder than Lego parts. Lego parts three times harder than the harder boost uh, boot, sorry, and uh, they can be used for uh, disposable cutlery, uh, furniture or toy, for example. Uh, Ferrohard pack alternative to uh, thermoform plastics uh, for packaging and um, supermarket uh, food trays, and uh, Fairwood Insulate Anti-Impact, which is an alternative to spiked polystyrene, and it's used for packaging and for insulation uh, in construction. Uh, mainly the, the, um, the insulation is really relevant uh, in, in, this, in this material. Uh, you have here, uh, um, this, is a, this is a presentation, so, Please don't read everything, but um, it's a comparison between our products and other products in the in the market. Uh, especially, it's important as you can see in the first row uh, um, the price of the of the raw material. Um, at the end, we want uh, we all want a new um, sustainable materials for uh, the goods we we buy, but uh, the price is really really important. So we found that uh, Felwood can compete in many, many uh, applications with other, with other materials and, uh, and become greener, okay? Behind the Felwood magic, there is a team of chicks which I'm um, really proud, uh, proudly part of. Uh, nine years of research, uh, European patent pending, 
uh, two PhD, as you can see, and um, a relevant arbitrary fantasy reward, which is ever uh, growing, and a common mission to um, reduce plastic use at a global level. Um, my name is Oscar Rongares. I'm in charge of business development, and I joined uh, Fairwood a couple of years ago. And since then, um, I became kind of co-founder and and uh, the public face of uh, of of Fairwood. And next steps uh, for us, or so what we are into right now, we are um, in the just in the middle of a round. Uh, um, we need the money to uh, build uh, and commission actually uh, a mini production plant uh, that will allow us to uh, go from the lab to uh, an industrial size and uh, validate all our technology and uh, be able to show this technology to, to our customers. We are focused on two main uh, markets right now, disposable cutlery and, um, and food trays as well. So uh, the next steps uh, are just to finish this, uh, this investment round, get our um, technology to, to industrial level, uh, hire some other uh, people, of course, which uh, will, be, will be needed and um, just go to market as soon as, as, as possible. What we found is that uh, the market is uh, kind of waiting for us. Uh, we already uh, have many customers waiting for, for our technology to, to grow to, to industrial level, to just um, manufacture uh, with, with, our, uh, with our materials. I want to be really, really brief. So I will just say that uh, a different world cannot be built by different people. And um, my question, and I normally finish with this slide, it's are we all indifferent? So I'm just, um, I will be more than happy to, to answer your questions. <laughs> 